We traveled from Vienna, Austria to Bratislava, Slovakia via train. Prior to leaving on the one hour ride, we spent over two hours in the Vienna lounge. Prior to leaving for Bratislava, we spent some time in the Vienna train station first class lounge. This was the best Eurorail lounge we had ever seen. Huh? Where do you want to sit? Um, up against the where you got more room. Hmm? Oh, they give you free coffees and there's like sodas over there and cereal. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. This is the sweet life. <laughs> this is the sweet life we've been hearing about. <laughs> okay, let me give you the close up of what they got. Teas, waters, cokes. Look at all that free water. Juices. They've got peanuts, protein snacks. Somebody eat all the chocolates, but they have chocolate wafers. They got pears, apples, teas, and this beautiful coffee machine. Oh, life is good. This is what I found about it. I think I'll try it. It's not bad. Yeah, it's a Vietnamese or <laughs> Vietnamese drink. It's not bad, right? No. It's, it's good. It's refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. Herbally refreshing, citrusy. Scott describes it as like a, almost a ginger ale. And he's totally right. They put out pastries. <laughs> Chinese one, see which one we like best. We don't know what they are. It's a pizza. It's pizza. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. She takes big bite. Mm -hmm. mm. Your evaluation is like half of it. <laughs> this is a curry roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a pizza roll. There's more. Yeah. So you want all the rest of this? Okay. I found something new. Sample. What is it? Hmm. Spinach? No. Oh, okay. Eat half of it. Okay. Iced tea. <laughs> they have peach flavor too, but I like like me some lemon. Goodbye, lounge. Goodbye. <laughs>
of this area was called Czechoslovakia. And we've been to the Czech Republic. And now we're going to the other half. Slovakia. I was reading too about Bratislava. It's kind of a unique city. It doesn't have a lot of people in it. Like half a million people. But it's between three major countries. Um, Hungary. Hungary, which is where we're going next. Where we're coming from right now. Austria and Czechia. Okay. All those countries are together. And really, this is should be Czechia, Czech, Czech Republic. Yeah. Czech Republic. So they're the same. Um, I don't know like the exact differences when you use one or the other. Mm -hmm. I've seen both on maps. Maybe it's like Prague. They call it Praha because that's their language. But everybody else calls it Prague. So maybe che Czechia is their language. But everybody calls it the Czech Republic. Yeah, Czech. but it's a, an interesting part of the world. And the city probably that we're going to is going to grow a lot, I would think. Um, if it wasn't for Hungary being so close and Vienna being so close to major cities, um, it'd probably be really big or anyway. Well, it's been a good day. We're here. Slovakia. Welcome to Slovakia. Five degrees out. I consider that pretty darn hot. Yeah, it's crazy. Huh? Here we are. Wait. side of the wooden table? Yeah. That must be it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. We get to sit on a real throne. the ground. And we have AC. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Next to the main road. But that's okay because we don't have to have our windows open. No, that's a, oh, that's a ground floor. Yep. So we're in the ground floor. This kind of looks like um, a hostel in a way, something like we sort of stayed in in Colombia where there's a bunch of different bedrooms and some people have um, private mm. bathrooms, like that's probably their room. That's probably their room and that's their private bathroom. And then you can come over here and there's like a kitchen. where, you know, you can cook your food. There's a dryer, washing machine is over there. But you know, you can put all your stuff, you can cook your food and whatnot. Our room happens. That room's not in there. That's their bathroom. Oh, that's their bathroom? Yeah. I thought this room. No, they have a private bathroom. Oh. So just like ours, they have a bathroom inside. This room that we were looking at just now, mm -hmm. their bathroom. 
Oh, yeah, I see it. So this is ours. We're in the rum room. We have our own bathroom. And this room has a bathroom. And this middle one belongs to them. And then common kitchen, laundry, storage. And then it goes upstairs. Looks like the same layout upstairs. Cool. And they look like they have a little outdoor garden out there. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Do not let nobody. Yeah, that's the same as saying let everybody in. Right here. Exit. Exit. Everybody, come on. Don't let nobody inside. Day one. We knew we weren't going to have a lot of time in Bratislava, so we quickly headed out to explore. First we saw a cool fountain. That's so cool. Nice place to come to cool off, huh? Yeah, I already didn't tell you it's 95 degrees today, so this is really nice. Then we came across the Presidential Palace. Then, another cool fountain. Besides the fountains, there was this interesting sculpture. We found a villa. Everything looks delicious as usual. Oh, look at this. Comes with chopsticks. Five bucks. I love it. No. Oh, look at these little strawberries. There's my grapefruit juice. After the fall of the Soviet Union in 1989, Czechoslovakia became its own country during the peaceful Velvet Revolution. Then, a little over three years later, the country split into two halves, the Czech Republic and the Slovak Republic, in another peaceful event, sometimes called the Velvet Divorce. So, Scott wants to eat Indian food? He chose this place called Red Chili. Remember, it's not non bread, it's just non. Uh, I like having my own couch. That's just cool. Got some place to put my bag, safe. It smells good in here. We're really hungry, I think. Okay, my veg soup. Chicken tiki masala. So all these prices are in euros. And a vegetarian menu. Got a lot of stuff in here. So I'll get back to you when we figure out what we're eating. And today I'm gonna try an Indian tea. It's got Indian black tea, Indian spices, milk, and sugar. That sounds interesting to me. I've never had that. So, I think I'm gonna get this. Fish go on curry. It's got coconut sauce, Indian spices, and it's medium spicy. Scott's gonna get the butter lamb. Lamb meat, Indian spices, tomato, cashew sauces, Indian butter, ghee, medium spice. And Scott's gonna get a chicken tikka, and, he, and, he's, gonna, he's, gonna, and he's gonna get a butter naan. Butter naan. Alright. Okay. That looks nice. I'll try it without sauce first. Mm, tender. A little spicy. Just what you hope from an Indian thing. It's really good. That's different. It's kind of citrusy, but in a different way than I've ever had. <laughs> and then Gotta have it with some the full mouth, you know.
Chicken tikka. First, she's gonna try her Indian. Indian tea, which came hot. Looks like a coffee almost. Oh, it's like milk tea with a little bit of um, like what they call Indian spice. Mm. Mm. It's very good. Let me try that. Good. So it's so tender, I could cut it with just a fork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think grab an onion too. <laughs> good appetizer. All right, we're off to a good start. <laughs> the lady, what do you think? This is my food. This is my knife. What did you order again? That was fish, fish coconut, with coconut and coconut sauce. Okay, and it should be spicy. And I got butter lamb, which should be like butter chicken, but um, with lamb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the naan bread looks amazing. Like that's a real deal. <clears throat> oh, this is pretty good. And it's pretty spicy too. All right. Maybe we'll mix them together. Classic Indian flavors. Mmm. Extra spicy. I like it. Wow, that is really spicy. It, was, it just keeps, the heat just keep building and building and building. <laughs> I like it. Awesome. It's really sweet. And I think if we mix these together, we got a winner. Because <laughs> We're going to create something really great. <laughs> Look at him. Isn't he cute? He's all sweaty. really, really bright. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm crying. I think you are. I can feel the like, water dripping down my face. <laughs> I will say that this is hands down the best Indian food I've ever eaten in my life. It's so good. It's so flavorful. It's great. And these two mixed together. So good. Yep. Y'all are missing out. Day two. Day two began with a walking tour of Bratislava. Statues were placed throughout the city to help encourage tourism. And no tour would be complete without visiting Kumil. He is the most popular and most photographed of the many statues throughout the city. Everyone is supposed to touch the button on his cap for good luck. Another statue is Shoner Nasi. This is a statue of a real person who passed away in 2007. Shoner was the grandson of a famous clown, and he used to walk around the city dressed in a top hat and tails every day, bringing happiness to passers-by by saying greetings in different languages. Another statue is called Blind Napoleon. It was originally created to commemorate the two occasions when Napoleon's army entered the city. But now the joke is that it's a good thing that Napoleon's eyes are covered because he would be upset to know that France is now part of the European Union. This building is famously half classic and half baroque with a Napoleonic cannonball stuck in its wall. The final stop on our tour was the Blue Church, built in 1908 through 1913. It was originally painted in pastel colors, but later it was painted in blue to promote tourism. Bratislava is full of fountains and other artistic works. In the old Czechoslovakia, each town had an area that was denoted as Korzo a block or two of cafes and milk bars where young men and women could meet. This rock memorializes the midpoint of the traditional meeting place in Bratislava. 
older people look back on those times with fond memories. Okay, so why are we here? To eat local food. Because it was recommended was by recommended. our tour guide. Let's see. None of that is gonna be recognizable by anybody. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. I don't <laughs> think you're gonna be able to understand any of this, but we were recommended what? Um, we are recommended two things. This and this. And I will be getting this. Okay. And Scott will be getting the other one. Yes. We found a menu with English. So I'm gonna try to get that thing we talked about earlier, but if they don't have it, I'm gonna get a grilled, I'm gonna get the salmon steak with black spaghetti. Or maybe I'll get it with fresh salad. I don't know, same price. There it is, their version of Coca-Cola, because Coca-Cola was illegal here because it was a communist country. They, they couldn't get access to it, so they made their own, and this is it. It's nothing like Coca-Cola, but it's citrusy. Maybe some beef juice. Some cinnamon. Hmm. Kind of like a Dr. Pepper with lemon in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks good. My butter chicken. No, yours looks amazing. Give it to me. Give it to my baby. It's weird. It's, um, it's got some weird spices in it. Yeah. Kind of like fish one spices. But overall, it's really good. It's just different than I've ever had before. And there's different spices in it, stuff in it. And this is like dumplings, little dumplings. Kind of like gnocchi. I can smell that from here. And it smells really good. Oh, it looks nice and fatty. Oh where are they getting the seafood? I don't know where they're getting it from, but it's Nice. Mm. We're going to find some good it's things. Don't know? Yeah. No idea. They look like tough. <laughs> Do they taste like anything? <laughs> no. It's a texture thing. And it's really firm. And it's really good. This dish is amazing. Alright.